Hey everyone, this is Michelle over here at Boon Babe, and today I'm going to really quickly go over what the Anima Patch is, where to get the seeds that you plant here, and what all of the seeds do. So what is the Anima Patch? The Anima Patch is a special farming allotment located in the west wing of the farming guild that requires level 76 farming to use. This patch does not require any gardener protection or compost to successfully grow. What makes this patch so special is that you can only use three untradeable seeds on it, the Addis Seed, the Eosaur Seed, and the Chrono Seed, all of which drop exclusively from the Sporadic Farming Bosses Spory at a drop rate of one out of three, and which each provide a unique benefit to your other crops. If you have never killed a Spore before, don't worry, I have a guide on how to defeat it with mid-level gear that goes over all of the mechanics that you need to know. So getting into the specifics of each seed, let's start out with the Addis Seed. The Addis plant will increase your farming patch yields game-wide by increasing the chance to save a life by 5%. This effect can be stacked with similar ones like the Farming Cape and Magic Secateurs to get the most from your harvest. The Eyesore Seed decreases the chance of your farming patches becoming diseased during growth by 80%. This effect works for every one of your patches across Gilnor. The Chrono Seed provides a chance for every farming patch game-wide, excluding itself, to skip a growth cycle. Multiple growth stages can be skipped in a single farming tick and the effect is paused if a plant becomes diseased. This is my personal favorite seed that I keep planted at all times. Unlike most seeds, the anima seeds are essentially done as soon as they're planted as their individual effects begin to work immediately and through every growth stage of the plant until it dies, about three and a half days later. Any attempts to clear the patch before it's dead will give you a warning asking if you're sure you want to dig it up and resurrect crops does not work on anima seeds, so when it's dead, you'll have to replant a new one. I don't personally do this, but if you want to make the most out of the seeds effects, you could take the extra step to plant them around 10 minutes after the farming tick occurs at the following times in UTC time zone. So day one, that will be at 12 a.m., 1040 a.m., and 920 p.m. Day two, that's 8 a.m. and 640 p.m. Day three at 520 a.m. and 4 p.m. And finally, day four at 240 a.m. and 120 p.m. If you're unsure what day the current farming cycle is on, I suggest checking out the farming wiki where you can see today's date in the growth timing section. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down in the comments if you found this helpful and which anima seed you like the most. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also catch me live on Twitch five days a week at twitch.tv slash boonbabe and every Thursday on the OSR's podcast I co-host, also called Boonbabe, which can be found on this channel or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.